Greetings, we are outside the British Museum, you can see it behind us. Um, we've just been on a Bible tour, the Bible in History tour with Jay Smith. Um, he's been doing this for like 20 years, you know, something like that, and it's his last one. And um, so, we had about 20 or 30 people, oh there you are, that's uh, the information about it. And it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, it may be something that we would consider doing ourselves uh, because what it's done it's showing and, and just just to summarize it it's showing you that historians who up until recent history have always poo-pooed the bible as being full of myths and fables and in, inaccurate and not really historical um, gradually as as new um, sort of um, cuneiforms have been deciphered and uh, artifacts have been found um, they're now finding places, names and dates that are in the Bible and nowhere else um, that are all, you know, in the past always said to be untrue because there's no independent uh, evidence. Now they're finding this evidence bit by bit and the museum is even acknowledging the fact and one of them, the, the really interesting one, was um, uh, the book of Daniel. Um, was, uh, I forgot his name now, um, the finger. <laughs> Oh my goodness! The, the um, oh, what was his name? The chap with the the, uh, the writing on the wall. You you all know what I'm talking about. Belshazzar. Belshazzar. Um, up until recently, that word Belshazzar only appeared in the Bible, not in any historical records. So that's everyone said, well, because the Bible is wrong. Um, now they've started. They've found tablets with the name appearing, um, and the reason why he doesn't appear in history is because when he became king of Babylon or in charge of Babylon his father was still the king but his father was still alive even though uh, Belshazzar was running the place and um, his father had retired hadn't his he? father had retired to another yeah, place yeah. yeah and but he was still like the, 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 the head the king mm. so Belshazzar hadn't made his name in history because he he didn't want to conquer lands because his father would get all the uh, credit. the credit for it so he was biding his time since his father died trouble is that before his father died uh, the Persians came along and wiped the whole lot of them out so for that reason he hadn't had a chance to make his name on history that's why um, his name doesn't hadn't appeared anywhere in history apart from in the Bible. So, so the Bible so it proves that the, the the Bible account was an eyewitness account of someone who was important for Bible reasons, but not historically. And now um, the historical evidence has been found. Anyway, there's loads of those stories. Um, Jay showed us. There was also the nickname, wasn't there? Do you remember oh, where they yeah. said they didn't know who that person yeah, was? Yeah, Tilgut Palaza, the Assyrian king, had a nickname, a ridiculous nickname, Paul, P-U-L, isn't it? Paul. Yeah. And again, this didn't appear anywhere outside the Bible, um, but the Bible mentions that name, and then suddenly, over the last few years, this word Paul has started, has, has been found. Again, more and more proof, and this is not one or two at random, this is, you know, no, you know, just the evidence of many, many findings, and, it, and as I said, it's not a random thing. It's just something that that even the British Museum are acknowledging, and and they're adding all the time, aren't they? Because since the last tour, yeah. three more objects have been yeah. put on and display. Jay, Jay could not believe it that mm. they're starting to show Bible quotes now as as historical facts. Um, which is something they never did before so um, he's very excited about it and so should we be so uh, got anything to add? No it was really good. <laughs> it was very good yeah. Yeah. Okay there you go.